Hello, welcome to Gospel in Action. In the last video, we have seen how Jesus refuses to commit to those individuals who are rebellious to the loving call of the message of the gospel. In this video, we will investigate what Jesus said that we must do to enter or see the kingdom of God. Let us look at verse 1 and 2. Now there was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. This man came to Jesus by night and said to him, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher come from God, for no one can do these signs that you do unless God is with him. Looking at all the signs and wonders that Jesus was doing, a man of the Pharisees and the ruler of the Jews at that time named Nicodemus came to Jesus one night to praise him and the work that he was doing. Nicodemus was a remarkable man. He was a Pharisee which means that he was a member of the religious elite of that day. Those were the people who really took God and his word seriously. Nicodemus was also the ruler of the Jews, which means that he was a member of the Sanhedrin, that is the governing council over the Jewish people at that time. Hence, he was also a very influential man. He must be a well-rounded, educated man as his name is a Greek name and not a Hebrew name. So, he must have been exposed to the sophisticated Greek culture of that day as well. So this man Nicodemus wanted to talk to Jesus. He visited Jesus at night so that he would have an uninterrupted time with him and possibly hiding from the other Pharisees and the Sanhedrin because meeting Jesus would be controversial to him because of the position that he holds in the then society. He came to Jesus and acknowledged right away that Jesus was a teacher who came from God because he thought no one could even think of doing these miraculous signs that Jesus has been doing unless God is with them. At this point, we don't know whether Nicodemus was trying to flatter Jesus or making a sincere introduction of himself to Jesus. We certainly know that Nicodemus refused to believe that Jesus is the Messiah that the Jews were waiting for. The scripture does not specifically state that Nicodemus was later saved, but from the scriptures of John 7, 50 through 51 and John 19 and 39, we could say that he believed in Jesus later. In John 7 verse 50 and 51, Nicodemus defends Jesus in front of the Pharisees and suggests a fair trial. In John 19 verse 39, Nicodemus brought 75 pounds of a mixture of myrrh and aloes to bound Jesus's body in linen clothes with all these spices. This clearly proves that he respected and believed in Jesus later in his life. Now, let us see how Jesus responded to him. Verse 3, Jesus answered him, truly, truly, I say to you, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Now, Jesus was drawing something that will be the theme for the rest of the New Testament, but it even extends backwards into the Old Testament. This idea of the new birth is the basis for the whole Christian belief, that is the requirement to see the kingdom of God. This new birth is the complete 
transformation in one's life. As we have seen in the last video series of Ephesians chapter 1, this new birth puts us individually in Christ so that we would have all the spiritual blessings that God has decreed long before for whoever puts their trust in his only begotten son, that is Jesus Christ. Now, Jesus looked straight into the eyes of Nicodemus and said, you must be born again or born from above. Otherwise, you will not see the kingdom of God. We have seen this in John chapter 1 verses 12 and 13 as well, where John said, but to all who did receive him, who believed in his name, he gave the right to become the children of God, who were born not not of blood, not of the will of the flesh, not of the will of man, but of God. This response from Jesus obviously shocked Nicodemus, who was under the assumption that he was saved because of his birthright of being a Jew. Again, Jews are not saved by their ethnicity, but even for them, the salvation is through faith and faith alone in the finished work of Jesus Christ which gives them their new birth. Nicodemus would have thought that there are plenty of people who are Gentiles that needed transformation in their lives, but not him because he is a Jew who keeps the law. And not just that, he was in an influential position where he even rules the Jews. Nicodemus was a very self-righteous man given the nature of his religious and political standings. Nicodemus was also not considering Jesus as the promised Messiah because as a Jew, he must have had a different idea of the Messiah. For him, the Messiah is the one who would rule the new world after taking over all the kingdoms of the earth. This is the reason why he addressed Jesus as just a teacher of God initially. But Jesus was clear in his response, although he was bold. He indirectly told Nicodemus that before I bring in a new world, I am going to bring in a new life one by one through humanity. And in that new life, I will reign as preeminent Messiah. Therefore, in the new life, you must be born again. Wow, this is incredible as God's plan for mankind is unfolding, right? So there is only one group in the whole world who can call themselves Christians. They do not become Christians by default, even if they are born in Christian homes. They become Christians only when they are truly born from above or born of God. That is being born again through a new spiritual rebirth in Christ. Are you a born again believer in Christ? It should not matter where you are born or to whom you were born to or in which religion you were born into. What matters is for you to know that you are born again through your faith in Christ or not. If not, this is the time. Salvation is now. Come, come to Jesus. You will have freedom from any bondage that you are under in your lives right now. The truth alone will set you free. And most importantly, you will be able to see the kingdom of God that is manifesting on earth through his body, the church. Let us break this video here. And when we come back, we will look into more details on this new birth as Jesus explains to Nicodemus. Until then, stay tuned to Gospel in Action. And to know more about me, please find my testimony and my contact details in the description below. We also encourage you to please subscribe to this channel if you think the videos are beneficial for you to understand the Bible in more depth. Thank you again for watching.